Cougars back home today, first of two home turf matchups after surviving a grueling three-game road trip against top ten opponents. USF went two and one on the road, facing back-to-back -back number one ranked teams, and then uh, doing battle last week against a number five ranked William Penn squad. Cougar offensive line averaging 275, a man tackle to tackle, pistol lineman with Miller making the start today at quarterback, short drop, wants to throw, dances, can't find it by flush to his right, cuts back to the left, cuts to the 40, stumbles across the 45, and he's got a first down, and the knee did not hit till he landed up around the 47, 48 yard line. Yeah, nice awareness by Miller of knowing where he had to get that ball to get the first down, and that's kind of a component that we missed a little bit. Miller looking to throw, short drop, looks left, checks off, he's got a lot of green to the right, cuts to the 50, 45, 40, 45, and slides down with 30, they may give him another yard to the 29, and Josh Miller, who came in with 165 rushing yards, and soaring ankle and all, looking real good. Cam Smith comes in, of course had a great ball game, 84 yards receiving, including a touchdown of 64 yards, but they run the ball, and here's a Miller, keeps himself, angles right, looking for some running, and cuts to the 20, the 15, and down inside the 13-yard line with Josh Miller, again, he sold it very well with that replay and how the Siena Heights defense plays it. Cougars will attempt a field goal now, this will be a 33-yard field goal by Emerson Evers, 2 of 3 on the year, has a long of 32, this would be a long Long of his season, 33 yard line drive. He's got enough leg on the way and good. 33 yard field goal. Emerson Eva puts the Cougars on the board at the 10 30 mark. They lead, visit the San High 40 0. And little motion back uh, resetting in the backfield. And that is going to be Raphael Dunson as King wants to throw. Launches the near side. It's got a catch, but uh, they will not get the first down. And they have top three. St. Francis has got it. They got the ball into Dunson's hand, and then he got it up. So Fender recovery and St. Francis leading it three to nothing will have a chance to add to their lead. I think that was Justin Juarez. Third down and three coming up for USF. They can't pick up a first down, but they will get a touchdown on a three-yard down. over the middle, throws a little range, he's got a catch at the 38 yard line. So it'll be a first down for St. Francis, that time going to the air. they spread it out, they've got two wide either side of the field for Miller, with Campbell lined up again behind him. Looks, spins, Miller working to his right, wants to throw off the move, and he's got a catch, there's Coleman, Coleman turns inside the 30, inside the 20, and he's going to score a touchdown. <laughs> Right. 
flash everybody was coming on that one. And, uh, and USF, uh, Coach Maloney said, we're not going to be able to bring pressure except on obvious uh, passing downs, which that was. He says, but on obvious passing downs, look out. Blackman in wide to the right side, two wide, tight to the left. They looked on this direction, handed off, and uh, that is going to be a run. We're told that is Sean Smith as the running back got only another yard to the 15-yard line. So it'll be fourth down and incision as uh, Jonah Harder is their field goal kicker. He was two for two last week, had a 35-yarder, and he's going to come on to try to get him on the board. 32-yard field goal. Right foot kick is on the way, and that's blocked as coming in there near side, and that's Taylor Brown that made the block, and no point on the board for the Saints and the Cougars. Still lead it 17-0. Joey Donaco comes in now at right defensive end. Cougars continue to go with four down linemen up front. Here's a roll to the left, the left-handed quarterback. That's a catch by Reggie Blackman, but Gabe Brown has actually made the catch, and maybe he's going to lose about a yard. In particular, Robert Becker, Bishop Dwinger High School, Here's a run by Campbell's got a little bit of running room and he continues on to the 40 yard line, taking tacklers with him all the way across the 45 to the 47 yard line. That's Antoine Campbell, his best run of the day. And Joe, I don't know how he does that. He, I mean, he got hit and he didn't move. He's not, you look at him, and I've said this before, you look at him when he's in street clothes. Third down and six. As Miller operates out of the pistols lineup now, he's got two wide to the right, that's the wide side of the field. And Miller short drop, looks to the right, completes to Cam Smith, spins down inside the 25, and he's got a first down. That time uh, Miller muscled up on the ball, had a little extra on it. Just over two minutes now, time remaining. Kelsaw in motion, right to left. And here is Miller, screens the ball, a lot of traffic up the middle. Here's Coleman, Coleman dances the outside to the 10, to the 5, and down to the goal line. Did not get in, though. Stopped just short of scoring. Wow, and that should have been a touchdown, but Joe, nonetheless, it's going to be marked inside the one-yard line, and that's just great execution on that play. USF got uh, a little bit. <laughs> Look at Austin. Yeah, a little, little bit of the flow going to the far side of the field. Austin uh, enjoys, well, he's enjoying his own play. Evan Donnelly embraces him. If we had replay, I'm pretty Here's sure Miller that's Miller hands touchdown. the turner, and he walks into the end zone. His second rushing touchdown. So Kevin sets it up. A little reception down inside the one, and Turner from a yard out. 23-0 USF. Did he think that he had scored? It looked like he was a little disappointed on that spot of the ball before the Turner touchdown run. Meanwhile, Sienna Heights keeping it on the ground. They angle to the left side. They'll pick up about two yards with now just 96 seconds remaining in this first half. If they try to go vertical here in the dying moments of this first half. As Miller wants to throw, rolls to the right, screens back to the left. Kelsey cuts to the 30, 35, 40, 35. He's the midfield. He's at the 40-yard line and bumped out of bounds inside the Siena Heights 30-yard line, close to the 28, maybe the 27-yard line. So they screen, bubble screen to the left side, and Kelsey legging out. And uh, they're in striking this distance once again. Well, that's going to be about a 45-yard gain on Kelsey's third catch of the, of the game. As Emerson Ebert kicking from left to right, trying to make it a 27 0 lead. Carmen is the holder. Here's the snap. Low snap got the kick, and it's curling a little bit on the way, and it is no good. Off to the left. Heavily unbalanced line, a very odd formation. Here's Drew Milligan. He'll take the handoff, works off tackle the left side. Picks up only about a yard and a half, across the 36 to the 37. Let the ball get into his body and it bounced off. Cougars were four of six on third downs in the first half. They need 10 here. Yoder looking, steps up, can't find anything. Flush to the right, running, running. Throws the ball and he's got a catch by Austin Coleman. And that dropped the ball, but he was down on the ground and up around the 14 yard line. And the Cougars make a big third down play and they have a new set of downs to work with. The old school big numbers yeah. to make them fan brand. Fan friendly is gone. Zhukowski wanting to throw and uh, can't get rid of it and is brought down, lost the football. Sienna Heights has got that man mid down on contact anyway, but Big, big Matt Cart was engulfing uh, Zhukowski in his arms. Zhukowski uh, operates out of the gun now and he wants to throw. Short drop, looks, look, throws over the middle. He's got Dredgy Blackman with a catch. Takes a big hit, 
and Holt then lost the ball and uh, was going to roll with a catch and down on contact at about the 38-39 yard line. And who was that uh, back truck that delivered that, uh, that blow for USA? Who else but Taylor Brown? He has delivered some big ones this year. Had a block to kick earlier on a field goal attempt that has kept this a shutout possibility. And the crowd uh, really stirred up about that big hit. So the Cougars take over the football. They've got it first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Trying to move the ball is Yoder. Yoder looking over the middle, throws, and there's a catch by Brenton Williams. Went up and elevated and got it up across the 43-yard line. Boy, that's pretty, Joe, isn't that? 40.8 seconds yet remaining in this third quarter. Yoder now with second down and 10 with the ball at the 44. Looks near side. He's got Beverly. Beverly gets a block at the 50-yard line and cuts near side inside the 45 and down to the 42-yard line. And was that Seth Durant or Aaron Betcher with that big block? I think that was Betcher out there, Joe. Might be the final play of this third quarter. Sienna Heights shows blitz defensive left side by head. Instead, here's a throwback that way. Nice fingertip catch. I believe that was Colin Harrop, and it was, and he's got a first down. Third down in seven now. 14-11 remaining. They show blitz defensive left side. That's a safety blitz as Yoder looks, throws over the middle. He's got a catch. Ben Williams, touchdown. 27 yards, good delivery. As they throw it again, they threaten the blitz. He threw to that spot. And a touchdown at the 14-06 mark. Well, Beverly, once again, we see the value of great timing. And Beverly ran right down the seam and then headed towards the post. A little, I guess you'd call that a skinny post. And Joe, uh, just a great delivery under pressure by Yoder. And Yoder finally gets the Cougars on the board in the second half of this football game. Dunson now is used as a wideout. He's uh, up in the slot to the left side. Joukowsky looks that way. Pump bank, and then a wet Draven Scott wraps him up. And he had some uh, help as there's a Cougar sack back around the 40. Well, they're going to give him a mark at the 43. Knocko, Matt Smith. Uh, Kevin Bush is right around that one, too. I'll tell you what, that's a horror show down there for the quarterback to have those four guys bearing down on you. So that will do it as St. Francis, after the three road assignments and going two out of three, now coming home and defeating the Siena Heights Saints by a final score of 31-7. That'll take the Cougar record to 6-2, and 3-1 and one in the all-important Mid-East League. And now awaiting the appearance of the Taylor Trojans come next uh, Saturday afternoon at high noon here at Darcy Stadium. What's going on? I'm Eric Humphrey, of course, and this is Dr. Dre. You just seen him last week. Uh, he got a, you got a, what'd you get? T today, you got two touchdowns. Two touchdowns. My man was balling out. Good job today. So, uh, Dre, how you feel with these two touchdowns, man? I feel pretty good. Uh, offensive line was blocking their butt off, and uh, I feel pretty good about it. How how ready are you, or how prepared do you think we are who will be for next game and for the games ahead? Uh, I think it's going to be a, a tough road ahead, but uh, I think that we're ready for the challenge. I think that we'll rise to the challenge, and I think we'll get it done every single game. Oh, yeah, we will. Keep fighting. Thanks, Dre Day. You, hey, you did good today. I love seeing my Cougs win. So, all uh, right, you take care, man. I got Austin Coleman, of course. You all know this guy. So, Austin. They ain't kicking to you today, unfortunately. They must have seen our last, uh, our last video. You breaking records and stuff. But you had, a, you had a nice touchdown, long pass. It looked like it was about 80 yards. I don't know if it was that long. But um, tell me what was going through your mind that play. Uh, I seen the safety roll down. Uh, all I had to do was just catch it. I seen Knight had a, uh, his guy sealed and took it up the sideline. And I can hear as I'm taking it up the sideline. I can hear the coaches, coaches like cussing, cussing the teammates out and stuff. <laughs> just cruise on to the uh, end zone. Hey, as long as you, hey, as long as you can hear the other team cussing, you know you're doing the right thing. But I know you got, you got to go. I just wanted to stop you, say what's up, congratulations for the win, and uh, keep putting in work, man. Love seeing you play. Young Brown, we got Taylor Brown. I know you seen Boom Stick laid the wood today. Oh yeah, DB's bringing that boom. It was a good hit. Almost had a pick, but you know we 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 rather get bat downs, right? We want we want bat downs today. So. Uh, Oh, okay. So talk about the defense today, just how, how y'all did, how y'all held them to the very last second scoreless until the very last minute of the game. We, we knew coming into the game they had like 40, 46 different formations in the past three games. So we had a basic idea of what to expect. We came out here, I thought we were prepared, and we played well. So we executed really well today. 
uh, definitely play well. I love watching all of y'all. So, um, next game, Taylor, how how confident are you about next game? You know, I'm, I'm pretty confident every game. You know, I love my de my defense, my offense. I like to come out and play hard every game. So, I'm ready to go. Oh, yeah, good to hear, man. Well, hey, you did good today. You'll probably get the hammer again two weeks in a row. DB's bringing, it. DB's bringing that boom. Yep. All right, I'm going to take all your time. You got fam waiting on you. Congratulations. What's going on, Cougar Nation? There you've seen it. The Cougars had just won against Siena Heights with a 31-7 victory. Great game. It was great defense, great offense, great plays the whole game. And uh, definitely love watching us. Make sure you come support us again. we got another home game, home game I'm Sorry, in a week, Saturday. We versus Taylor. Same time, noon. Be here to support your Cougars. And I'm out. Wait, two.